That's funny. I don't know you. Who's that boy there? I never set eyes on him. Hey, Nevada! Hey there, youngster. Where are you from and what are you doing around here? You'd better answer him. You get him angry and there'll be trouble for you. You gonna answer me? Who are you? Who are you? I'm triple Sagittarius. I have a very healthy liver. I have never drunk cheap spirits. I have excellent digestion. I can't do gloom and doom. <laughs> it's not in me. He just drew you up out of the humdrum reality that brings everybody down into this fantasy world. And it was wonderful. He was such a character. He kind of scared me a little bit, you know, because I was really shy and he was so flamboyant. He read one of my favorite poems, The Good Luck Jockstrap. And then he sang his song about cholesterol. I was instantly charmed and captivated. Well, he was definitely a freeloader. I mean, I think uh, he lived on opportunities through the whole life. <laughs> there were people who considered him a fraud, a fake, a moocher, all of those things. There were other people who considered him a genius. His distinctiveness and his humor, I think that most of his friends would have said he was kind of a flower of our culture. He brought out what was the best in all of them. He was kind. Oh, if he God liked kind you, man, he didn't ever, like if he didn't like you, you didn't you, come you, in. You, you was your enemy. Oh. He truly you know, was a magical person. He, you know, he could create this um, sense of excitement about most anything. Eugene, in his portrayal of Mobile, created Mobile as a literary haven, if you will. Down in Mobile, they're all crazy because the Gulf Coast is the kingdom of monkeys, the land of clowns, ghosts, and musicians. And Mobile is Sweet Lunacy's county seat. I can tell you that's the truth, I know. You never knew what he was gonna do. That's, the, that's the part of his charm and part of his problem, too, in a way, because he loved to embarrass people, you know. And I deal with the Holy, the Holy Southern Trinity. The difference between what people think, what they say, and what they do.